All right, guys, I'm gonna walk over here and show you the uh, the problem I'm dealing with on my 76 uh, John Deere 450C dozer. If you've been following all of our videos this far, we've got like 16 episodes up about this thing, all the way from taking the motor out after it was blown up by a dumb decision, um, to putting the motor back in, bolting everything up. We've dealt with oil cooler leaks and radiator leaks and problems after problems. Well now, this thing will fire right up and it may run for five minutes, it may run for 30 minutes, but then it'll shut off. And we figured out that we're getting air in the fuel lines. So we put new fuel lines on it, clear ones, uh, so we could see where the air bubbles were coming from. So we're clear from here at the pump all the way back to here and then there's a metal line that seems like it's in good shape headed into the tank so basically all you see in it right now is diesel fuel um, you may start it up and all you'll see is diesel fuel for a while but then it starts getting air bubbles in it and then it starts being pretty much nothing but air bubbles eventually and we can't figure out why we've got two pipe clamps on it here it's, it's tight as can be there's no air coming through here um, the only thing I can assume is that there's either a pinhole in the metal line going into the tank or I've also read about some kind of strainer in the tank that can get clogged. Does anybody know if can that get clogged enough to make it suck air or can there get enough crap in the tank to make it suck air somehow? This dozer set outside in the elements for five years uh, while the motor was getting rebuilt so the inside of the tank is probably pretty bad which leads to my next question how to get the tank off so it could be cleaned and serviced if i have to do that um just not real sure uh, but once i get some time that's gonna be my next job i was gonna figure out how to I guess this has to come off the bottom and the fuel just come out and it's completely full of diesel so I'll have to get some clean cans and probably just drain it first and uh, oh, it's gonna be a mess but I don't know what else to do um, besides getting the air in the lines and shutting off everything else seems to work perfect so if anybody has any ideas and you can leave comments down below maybe I'll fire it up in the next couple of days and let you guys see but you can see this line's completely solid and full of diesel right now it will be nothing almost nothing but little tiny air bubbles flowing real fast through it so uh yeah i could use any help you guys uh any advice you guys have to give thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one